Hello everyone. Welcome to Take 5, where we take a portion of scripture or a theme and we try to do five minutes of it, um, sometimes over a season, and hopefully it applies to your life and to the way you treat people and the way you view God and life in general. Um, boy, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> well, that's what we're trying to do. We're starting a new series today. Um, I think we're calling it 5 on 10. Maybe you'll see it when, like, on the graphic, I guess. But it's a series on the Ten Commandments. You remember those? I'm the Lord your God. No false gods before me. Don't steal. Don't lie. All of those. Um, we're going to take ten shows, more than that actually, because today's going to be an introduction where we're going to look at the Ten Commandments and say, what do they have to do with my life um, today? Okay, you ready for that? They're in Exodus chapter 20. They're also in Deuteronomy. Um, they are, they're, you want a big word, you can impress your friends. They're called the Decalogue. Deca meaning ten, log meaning words. They are the, the ten words. And if you remember, the, the Ten Commandments came about when Israel was becoming a nation. Moses went up to Mount Sinai. Um, he got the law from the Lord. And the, the, the foundational part of the law, the initial part of the law, was the Ten Commandments. And here they are. So as we start, I thought I'd just start with uh, four ideas. I hope I can do that now in, in the time I have remaining. Four ideas to introduce the Ten Commandments, and then starting on Thursday, we'll deal with the First Commandment, okay? So I want you to hear the first two words, uh, first two verses of Exodus 20 that says this. Um, this is the beginning of the Ten Commandments. This is the Lord speaking to Moses, the Ten Commandments. Then God spoke all these words, and here's what he said. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the place of slavery. Okay, I just want to stop there. And I just want to come up with four ideas to get us started on this 5 on 10 series. Um, here's the first idea. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, brought you out of slavery. The first thing I want to sh demonstrate that the Ten Commandments do is that they show us who God is. This is who God is. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of slavery, and, and I'm about to give you this law. It shows us God's heart. It shows us his character. It shows us his will for his people. And so as we go through the Ten Words, um, the Ten Commandments, we will be getting a glimpse of who God is. This, is. this is what he desires. This is his character that he wants reflected in his people. So number one, they show us who God is. Number two, these words are for God's covenant people, okay? So in the Old Testament context, this is for the nation of Israel. They are God's covenant people. These words are the beginning of what is known as the Sinai or Moses covenant. These are for God's covenant people. Now, fast forward to the New Testament. Uh, as Christians, as part of the church, we are the new covenant people. Peter would write in 1 Peter uh, in verse 2 that we are a kingdom of priests. We are a holy nation. These words now apply to us. Uh, and here's a beautiful part of it. Jesus now knowing that new covenant people have new hearts. Um, Jesus will take these words and he will apply them to our heart. He will go internally. These words are out outside. Don't steal. Don't murder. Remember, Jesus then will take those words, take that commandment, and he will say, you've heard it said, don't hate excuse me, don't murder, I tell you, don't even hate people. You've heard it said, quoting the Ten Commandments, um, don't commit adultery. I tell you, don't even lust. So Jesus goes even deeper for us as the covenant people because we are a new creation. We have a new heart. But these are for God's covenant people, which also means they're really not for the world today. Um, surely this is the best way to live. Um, and yet we argue about should the Ten Commandments be on in the courthouse or here or there. This isn't meant for people at large. Sure, this is the best way to live. But these are God's words for God's people who are in a sense, a sense distinct from the rest of the world. The world will live by their mores and their ethics. God's people will live by these. There's a difference there. All right, I only got the two. So 
There's two. Stay tuned for Thursday, and I will pick it up right there, and I'll give you the next two. This is just introduction to the Ten Commandments, five on ten, and we'll do the two more observations that I make for uh, as we begin this, okay? So see you on Thursday. Read Exodus 20, verses 1 through 17, if you like, and uh, get ready to understand the Ten Commandments and start living by it. We'll see you. See you Thursday.